Today, Carolina is going to be taking us to her favorite Polish milk bars across Warsaw. We're going to be having traditional Polish food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So what exactly are Polish milk bars or what you say in Polish, bar melechne? Yes. So these are the places that are sort of uh, Polish style cafeterias mm -hmm. that are serving authentic and as well like quite affordable uh, home cooked meals. Mm -hmm. And the name comes from the post-war uh, communist times when there was a shortage of meat and most of the people were eating uh, meals based on uh, milk as well as flour. So we're going to be having traditional affordable, you could say even cheap, yes. but very delicious Polish food. Can't wait. All right, let's go eat. So we're gonna be starting off with some breakfast. We are on Mar... Szałkowska Street. M Mar Szałkowska Street. Oh my God, my Polish pronunciation. But we're at, a, you can see there Bar Malecznej. Let's head on inside. Poprosimy jeden zestaw jajecznica na masle, parówki, serżuty, bułka, masło. So what exactly is that? So this is like a, a breakfast set that is the most traditional with the sausages, with uh, some bun, okay. like a bread roll, yeah. and uh, obviously scrambled eggs. Też poprosimy zupę mleczną z ryżem. So this is kind of like the rice soup. Like porridge? Yes, kind of. <laughs> Polish porridge. All right, we're playing my card, guys. My dad just said good morning. I don't <laughs> want to show my pin. There we go. Yeah. All right, just there. So it's like 31-something Zlotties. 31 Zlotties. Alright, cinque me. Alright guys, so we have our kind of receipt and we actually have to go over to this area here. You can drop off your trays just over here. I think that's what this means. How do you say that? Uh, to put the tray back. Zvrot nachin. Zvrot nachin. Yeah, Zvrot nachin. nachin. And just over here. Uh, Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Ah, so you have to wait. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, very nice here. Um, so one thing we're worried about is like, uh, when I've been to Poland before, sometimes uh, people um, maybe, act, I thought they might be acting kind of weird on camera, but actually they, <laughs> they're very happy. I think it's because they are enjoying, you know, a British guy or someone who's not from Poland enjoying the traditional Polish culture. Yeah. So we've got our buzzer, and I guess then we can go pick up the food. Our food is ready. Let's go grab our traditional Polish food. Ooh, I can see it already. Ah. Ah, dziękuję, man. Ah, look at this, guys. Do we? Oh yeah. Do we need a tray? Should we get a tray? Should, do we need a tray? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> this is like similar to an uh, English breakfast. Really? No. Yeah. We like sausage, pork. egg, <laughs> yeah. but it is, yeah, not the cheese and the vegetables. And this is the cheese? Alright. So is this everything? Yes. Okay, great. Should we get some cutlery? Uh, let's grab... And maybe two spoons. Alright. Perfect. Okay. Dziękuję. Smachnago means like enjoy your meal. <laughs> uh, they're so friendly here, that's very nice. All right, so this is the interior of the milk bar. You can see there's like a classic kind of checked table, but we're over here because we get to have a view outside and it's very nice lighting. All right. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> so actually, let's go through what we have here. So we've got some, is this the farro? This is farożek. Farożek? Yeah. It's like white cheese? So it's white cheese with some sour cream and also chives because they didn't have radish. This, this is... This looks like, like you're drinking milk. Yeah, so this is the milk soup with rice. And I'm really curious how it it's tastes. Like because porridge. Yeah, like a Polish side <laughs> Polish porridge. porridge. And this is like a classic Polish yeah. breakfast. So here you have butter, cheese, bread, scrambled eggs. Sausages. Yeah, it seems pretty healthy. And then you got a coffee. Ah, I need to get a compote, right? Yeah. Do I get it from here? Uh, which is the compote? Is it the one at the bottom? All right, so inside of a, a Polish milk bar fridge, you have all these drinks. You've got some desserts. Oh, I think it looks so good. Oh, you got compote here. And you got uh, chastel, lots of, and cernik. Is that cheesecake? Yes. Yeah. And uh, even some jellies inside of there. That's interesting. All right. 
we're not stealing, we've already paid for this. Um, and it's very, I think it's very normal to need to close the fridge. All right, I'm just gonna put that over there and close the fridge. I've already got one hand. All right, thank you. All right, let's set you guys up and let's give this a go. It is time to eat this Polish breakfast feast. Uh, Karolina is cutting the bread because the cheese and the butter and the vegetables, I think, go on the bread. Yeah. Um, but meanwhile, I'm gonna try a Polish sausages perówki. Yes. Perówki. Um, it's kind of like you know, a thin sausage. It's kind of like I don't know, a bit like a frankfurter. Um, and we can dip it into some of the sauce. We've got some mustard, some ketchup, just like that. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. It goes so well with the ketchup and the mustard. Kind of gives it a bit of like a spicy flavor, but then you've got the kind of nice meaty flavor of the perówki. So I've just prepared Jay kanapka, which is like a sandwich. Kanapka? So yeah. Okay. So you put butter inside, and then uh, cheese on top and some veggies. And since Jay doesn't like tomatoes, it's just... Yeah, I'm not a big fan cucumbers. of tomatoes, but uh, this looks kind of funny. <laughs> um, all right, let's give this a go. Hmm. It's kind of a bit like a, like a sandwich. Yeah. Mm. The bread's a little bit dry mm, for my liking, but um, yeah. the cheese, and the vegetable combination is not too bad. Do you combine this with like the sausage or the yeah, eggs? Yeah, you eat it like along your meal and also like with faruk, so with white cheese, you can do the same thing, so... But you can put sausage um, and egg on top of this? <laughs> or... I wouldn't say so. All oh, right. It's, it's, In England, like they would probably put the sausage yeah, sausage egg. definitely <laughs> not. Egg you can put, but okay. I would do that, but not so many people. This, this sausage, I'm loving. This, um, not so much for me, is um, I'm not a big fan of sandwiches, um, but I love the sausage, the perówki. You've got some eggs here. I haven't even tried the eggs. What are Polish eggs like? <laughs> you can hear like a Polish auntie in the background uh, screaming in the, in the kitchen. And uh, you've got some eggs here. Oops, let's go, let's go. I can tell you for one thing, the quality of Polish eggs is ridiculously good. I like my style of sandwiches like this. So it's pretty much like Twaro cottage cheese, fresh with chives. So this is cottage cheese with chives mm -hmm. um, and it's on the same bread. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's give this a go. Maybe I'll like this one a bit more. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. You know what it is? This has got more flavour than just the... Yeah, this is very simple. This is very like simple. Sorry, I'm eating my mouth open, but <laughs> the this kind of just like yellowy kind of cheese. This is definitely a lot more full of flavor. All right, so now this is a wild card, as you would say. This is the wild card. Now this just looks, looks like a bowl full of milk, and I'm wondering if I'm just going to be drinking milk here. <laughs> okay, so. Can you explain, like, how, do we just eat it like a porridge? Yeah, so first of all, maybe we can show that this is actually... Oh, wow, I didn't see that. Rice. So this is milk with rice and... Is, this, is it like kind of rice pudding? Rice porridge, I would say. Okay, in the know. UK we have rice pudding, which is like a... It would be like rice with like milk and it's kind of sweet. Yeah. All right. Um, you can try it as well on camera. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right, so, got this rice just over here. And there's uh, someone in the, uh, in the window just wondering what's happening. Hmm, whoa. Mm -hmm. It's richly warm milk with rice. That is super interesting. This, um, this is a type of the food that was usually eaten like when there was like, let's say, poor times, in communist times when there was shortage of food. And people yeah. used to love that. I, I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. Like it's yeah. a very interesting one. Like, okay, let's try this one again. It's like... Oh, we've got kind of like sagging over there. <laughs> Not the most. Uh... I like it because it's actually warming you up. It's warm. Mm. It, it, it will... It's growing on me. It's like mm. you're eating the rice and there's kind of milk and it's kind of like a little bit sweet from the milk. Mm -hmm. But not like it's not sweet. It's just like kind of sweet yeah. sweetness from the milk. And um, it's very light. Mm. It's actually it's growing on me. Yeah. I think people could add here mm. like their own ingredients like cinnamon mm. or like fresh um, fruits. <laughs> It is very simple. Yeah. It's Carolina's history about why Polish people used to eat this. It kind of makes sense. 
But um, yeah, Mass it's production. not too bad. And uh, to finish off with, we haven't shown you our drinks, but so we've got compote here. So my understanding of this is that it's like a berry, mixed berry kind of fruit juice. Um, is it mixed, like fruits mixed with water or? Yeah, they're cooked in the pot. Mm. And then they're... They actually boil this or yeah, like? Yeah, they boil this and then it's cooled down in the fridge as you could oh, have So they're boiling the fruits with the water? Yes, or? and add some sugar usually, but okay. sometimes, mm. you know, according to preferences, it can doesn't necessarily need to be sweet. It's not um, super sweet, it's just a little bit of sweetness and um, it's very refreshing. I can mm. imagine, especially during the summer, this is, well, it'll sell out a lot. And my drink, surprisingly, it's not a coffee, it's Kava's Bojova, like grain coffee, but it's without caffeine. This is not coffee. I mean, it's coffee, but without caffeine, so not like a real coffee. It's not, there's no caffeine in here. No caffeine, yeah. Okay. It's made out of grains. Should I try it? I've yeah. never, oh, coffee without, that's without caffeine, or it's not coffee, I don't understand, but. But it does taste like coffee. Mm. <laughs> but it, oh. It's different, but like it's a coffee kind of like flavor. Unless, I like unless I'm in Vietnam, I don't drink coffee. But uh, this, uh, <laughs> it tastes like grains. It tastes like grains, like a little bit of coffee flavor. Yeah, I like it though. If she's happy, you know, happy, happy wife, wife happy, happy life. life. Ooh. Over here. All right, so there's another here. I was gonna say a bardzo dobre dziękuję. It's a bit of a queue. Is it normal for lunchtime to be? It's totally normal. Uh, yes, the food is really good and very cheap. Dzień dobry. What did she say? We go to there first, yeah? <laughs> what did she say? She said that like, uh, she would like us not to record. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. So, sometimes it's a bit open. Should we sit here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the soup. Chaviova with the egg. Looks like very heavy, that one. Yeah. Is that husky in the back? I saw it in the back there. Yes. Ooh. I do like my husky. Prefer it to potatoes. <laughs> oh, it's kebabba. <laughs> Chinkuya. Right. Is this the kebabba? Yes. It looks massive. Mm -hmm. it looks like a pancake. Wow. Do we even have enough space on that tray? All right. I think so, yes. This is the pierogi. Wow. So this one's got onion on top. Yes. And also we ordered uh, surufka, so like little bits of salad. So, surufka? Yes. Zest of surufek, so, like, so the, the set vegetables. Of, set of vegetables. Is it usually like yeah. cabbage or? Yeah. So you got some carrot there, he's got some carrot. We ordered a set of the grass, you see? Okay. Thank you. Wow. wow, look at this. <laughs> this looks so good. No place on the tray. All right. Yeah. Are you gonna hold the tray? Is I that think okay? It will be fine. I just Should need I get to, uh, the spoon, please. Spoon. Okay. Do you need anything from there? Okay, I'll get a spoon. <laughs> Two spoons or one? Two. All right. Got the spoons. Some seasoning. Should I get the compote? All right. So I need to get the compote. In this fridge over here. Oh, look at all these cakes. Right, grab one of these. Thank you. All right, so I've got my compote. I'll turn the camera to me because the lady who was serving us was a bit awkward with the uh, the camera. Don't know why, but people have their reasons. So first up, we're gonna be having skabove. Is that how you say it? Yes. Skabove, which is like this pork, which I think they've fattened with like a hammer yeah. uh, and fried, um, and probably salt and pepper. And then we've got husky, which is made out of 
potato and flour and okay. maybe one egg. I prefer this to potato, that's why I went for the kluski. Um, Karolina mentioned there's no sauce, yeah. so I don't know if that's normal or not, but uh, I'm gonna try this one out. And uh, Karolina's gonna try the soup. soup. So it's the sore soup, it's a vegetable. And uh, inside actually, there's an egg. You usually traditionally eat it with the egg, and I love it when my grandma's making it. So, I really like skibobber, but uh, this one's huge, so I don't know if it's gonna be dry, but let's see what happens. Ooh. Mm. It is a bit dry actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can have it with some of mm. these um, suruki, so you have different types of like vegetables. I think if we combine this with the meat, it will be even Perfect. better. Yeah. And also we've got um, some kind of kluski here, which you usually have again with like some kind of gravy yeah. or something. Mm. Mm. To be honest, you need you need sauce with the kluski. Something of it. It would have been nice if she had like asked us if we wanted sauce with the kluski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, when you went back to ask, she said, oh no, you have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought yeah. it's kind of included because it yeah. <laughs> like, makes the meal complete. There is a bit of a difference like in terms of filming here in the last place, the, the breakfast place. Yeah. They were very chill, they were smiling, uh, willing to like kind of help you, but I get it with the camera. Sometimes it can feel a bit like invasive. Especially when it's rush hour and everyone comes it's busy. Meanwhile, oh, you can try the soup, yeah. there's potatoes in the soup. As I said, there's an egg, and the broth is kind of like sour, so it makes a nice combination. Like in Poland, we love soups, and there's like literally thousands of choice. There's a big thing here in Poland: soups. Like you have it during, even during the summer, you'll have a different type yeah, of soup. Yeah, yeah. So, I've added some of this surufki. Mm -hmm. surufki. Uh, it looks like some kind of gherkin on top of there. Mm. Game changer. Mm -hmm. You've got to have it with the vegetables to get a lot of the flavor out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really love the, the gherkins here. And you got some kind of cabbage with some carrot. Um, is this, um, what is this, cabbage as well? It's another type of cabbage, yeah. You love your cabbage here in yeah. Poland, and I love cabbage, so happy to be here. So right. that's why we, try the we actually went for pierogi, which is cabbage and mushrooms, because it's my your favorite. favorite. <laughs> yes, my favorites. Yeah, we try it. Yeah, let's go for it. And so, uh, we had pierogi in our first video here in Warsaw, and they had it with sour cream, no onions. I very much like it when they give you the, uh, the onions just... Yeah. Over there, so um, I think I prefer on. the onions more than the sour cream. Yeah, sauerkraut, caramelized onions. All right, let's give this a go. Yeah. Mm. This is good. I also like this pierogi because it gives them a mushroomy taste. You have the sweetness from the kind of caramelized onions, and you got a bit of mushroom flavor inside. Um, it's mushroom and sour. Yeah. It's a bit of a like sour flavor. Yeah. I would argue that these pierogies are better than what we had in Zapiatek in our first video. I, I, I just prefer it with onions as well, and the price difference. I mean, how much did this meal come, come to? Got the receipt? Let's show it up to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's 45 slotties. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, 45 slotties, which in our meal in Zapietzik, it came to something like 90. Yeah. And we had probably... Twice more. Similar amounts of food, right? Yeah. Mm. This is way simpler, but like... The simplicity is what makes this place special. Again, I got my compote. Oh, this one's even more fruity. I would think that they would be the same across milk bars, but this one's quite nice. Compote will be always different wherever you go. Different fruits, different sweetness. There's a lot of people, it's lunchtime. We were a little bit stressed because, uh, you know, it's just weird to enter a place with a camera and start filming and yeah. there's people all around you. It's sometimes a bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna give this super go. It is covered in like herbs and potatoes. There's like a boiled egg. And uh, okay. That's it. <laughs> there's no meat. There's no meat? No meat. 
This is the soup that my grandma would cook every time that we would come to This her. definitely tastes like the soup you'd get from your babcha. Yeah. <laughs> it's like very uh, earthy and very kind of... Sour. It's like you on a, if you're sick and it's cold, <laughs> you'd have this soup. Is that right? No, you would just have the soup because you would enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I think for me, pierogi and skibove <laughs> are the winners here. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, drink over there. Uh, just for uh, YouTube, is it okay? <laughs> All right, so we've got a menu over here, guys. Uh, so, how do you know what is available? So basically, we can show it. It's um, actually oh, the price wherever is there. there's price, the price it's available. Is there, yeah. When it's covered, it's All not right. available. So there so. is a lot of things on the menu. You can yeah. see the entire menu. <laughs> the guy in here was like, "What on earth are you doing?" I yeah. said, "YouTube." And I then he just looked. just not used to us yeah. recording. Which ah, is just gotta get used okay. to it. Poor Prussia, uh, pierogi leniva, uh, guambek. Uh, Barsh Czerwony do Picia, just this. So it's like the Barsh soup? Yeah, Barsh soup. Okay. And the meat, remember which uh, one? What's the meat? Melone. How do you say it? Mel melone? Cutlet melone. Uh, uh, beetroot. Uh, Buraczki. Buraczki. Zasmażane. Okay, and is that everything? Uh, Did we want anything? Okay. Alright, dziękuję. Alright. Oh, yeah, okay. that's okay. Alright, let's pay. Oh, don't want to show you my code. There we go. So 50 lots of kinds. Yes. It's like a bulletproof. <laughs> it's like for protection. Do you claim it? Do you it? So, I guess we take it to this window here. Or should we sit down yeah, first? I think you should sit down because you have the... Oh, we got the buzzer. All right, so guys, you can probably guess where we are. We're at Bar Bambino. Food is ready. Oh, look at all this food. Uh, Jin dobre. So this is the pierogi leniva. Yes, this is go on back. Oh, okay. What was she saying? Uh, means like the uh, thing, the buzzer. Ah, the buzzer. Yeah, yeah. I get the buzzer. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is. Uh, looks like. That's interesting. All right, let's bring this over. Bring the tray, actually. Let's get a tray. Um. Okay. If you just put it down. It's probably better. There we go. Oh, this is the bar. Yeah. It's like a warm drink. This one is ours. Uh, that's not ours. Well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll take this one. But I'll you might need to get some cutlery. cutlery. Yeah. I'm gonna take this over. Yeah. So we have got all of our food over here. So tell me, Carolina, what? This is the guambek? So this is guambek. Mm -hmm. It's actually cabbage stuffed with rice and minced meat. Usually it's pork, sometimes beef. And on the top you have the tomato sauce. And it's actually very sad because people don't know that it's Polish. Like everyone is saying, oh, pierogi, pierogi, but guambek is the thing. Oh, you mean like people always want pierogi, but yeah. they don't go for guambek? Don't go for guambek. And there's a part of pierogi or guambek. And this is kotlet mielony, which means minced pork uh, kotlet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's pork meat, which is fried. Mm -hmm. And these ones are beetroots, which are also fried kind of on the pan. Okay. And this is my favorite. This is pierogi leniva. This is sweet. Yes. So it's like pierogi, but it's like more spongy and sweet. And you know what it is, pierogi leniva. Oh, lazy pierogi. Yes. That's that's the translation. That's a quick way to do pierogi. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> funny story, Carolina tried making me lazy pierogi one time, and it was not I quite it. my cup of tea. You didn't like it, but then you tried these ones. <laughs> Talking about cup of tea, you've got a barsh, which is like a beetroot soup. Yep, you can drink it. So this is the cutlet melona. You can see kind of meaty inside of there. This is pork meat, right? Mm -hmm. Do you combine it with the beet? Fried beetroot? Oh, whatever you want. I would eat it like this. Mmm. Wow. Oh, it's very salty, but very meaty. Mmm. I thought it would be a bit more harder. It's quite soft. Mm -hmm. It's a bit it's, like... It's minced meat and as well you have onions inside and sometimes even like the bread dough. I think what I need to do is combine that with this uh, fried beetroot. 
They say it's fried beetroot, but I don't. This doesn't look fried. Well, like on the pan, you said. As you can see, there's a beetroot there. Let's I give think it a go. you are going to like it. Mm -hmm. Are they warm? Mm. The beetroots. Mm -hmm. mm. It's warm. It's not like hot. Okay. Because we're doing the pictures, mm -hmm. but usually they come like boiling hot. I saw in the reviews though that the food here sometimes comes like. Well, it comes like lukewarm, so mm. it's not always going to be piping hot. Yeah. Alright, you want to try your gourmet? Yes. So this is the thing that you should be eating as well as pierogies. <laughs> yes, I'll try to. But um, I do like it because it's kind of like, this is sweet. And then it's got the saltiness of the meal on it. It's very difficult because I would like to show you the inside of Gowombek that there's actually rice inside over here with some meat. But the first layer is always the cabbage. And also, um, you can pretty much drink this just like, you don't need a spoon for this, do you? No, no, no. Okay, it's, a, it's like a drink. All right, it's just, so this is barsh, like the beetroot soup. Mm. Mm. So I'm the biggest fan of Gowompi because there's a tomato. Oh, you said Gowompek. What's the difference between Gowompi? One Gowompek, two Gowompi. That usually ah, be saying. Plural. Yeah, and actually, funny thing is like little pigeons. The translation. The Gowompi. It's, it's little, little pigeons. pigeons. Yeah. Because it looks like a little. Uh -huh. If you look at it, it looks like. Pigeon that's been shot out of the sky and served up in this Polish milk bar, but <laughs> this is disgusting. Well, what's the meat inside of there? Mm, uh, as well, pork. Okay, so, so would you rice. say in Polish food there's a lot of pork? I would say so. Is yeah, there that's... main meat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but uh, personally, I like more like chicken. Like... I love pork, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy in Poland. Um, so this bash is very nice, very sweet, and it's actually very soothing and kind of warms your body up, especially when it's cold. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Okay. Try this one out. Um, oh, yes, I'm trying this. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. After you said pigeon, maybe. We like cabbage, so I think that you will like it. Mm. No? Honest opinion? Um, it doesn't taste that amazing. Like, it tastes okay. To be honest, like, all it of tastes, the... It just tastes like cabbage. I didn't taste the meat with, like, kind of packet tomato sauce. Okay. Like Being completely me, honest. For me, actually, I really like Polish food because it's, for me, gourmet food, honestly. It's home I think, cooking. I think your mum's made guanbek, though, yeah. and I really liked it. Yeah. So it might be just, like, kind of milk bar, guanqui, yeah, might yeah, not yeah. be. It's or maybe very, just this... It's very simple here, but I really like it. Mm -hmm. But I really... I'm enjoying this, so I'm happy. Time for the lazy pierogi. So, Carolina, tell me, what is this? So, inside you have white cheese, flour and eggs. That's the... As simple as that. And what's the, there's some oil at the bottom, what is that? Yeah, is that butter? It's actually butter and so you put the out? sugar and put the butter. Oh, yeah, so it's sugar and butter? Sugar and butter, yeah. Okay, so this is going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> is this healthy or...? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like super unhealthy, it's like very simple, mm. but it's it's more like a dessert. Like sometimes people eat a soup and this one for a It's definitely not course. unhealthy, I wouldn't say. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very like kind of using good quality ingredients. You can taste the cheese, some sugar, some butter. And it's kind of chewy as well. Yeah. How, do you, how can you describe the texture? It's like kind of... Mm. You can taste the pieces of the white cheese, I would say. And then the but flour the, is making but it. But the texture is more like... You get like bread and then dip it in water. Like you know when you're yeah, yeah. like a pizza dough kind yeah. of thing? It's like yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. But uh, you can have like a exactly. subtle hint of cheese coming through. Yeah. And I like actually... Whereas the ones you made was like, it just tasted like cheese. It was more healthy, let's say. <laughs> I didn't use... Th this is actually the wheat, uh, wheat, and I used some sort of different flour. But don't they use like brown sugar in some of the places? Mm, sometimes they put actually breadcrumbs and sugar mm. together. But it's usually white sugar. I like the, the ones... Don't forget, it's a cheap place. <laughs> For me, like the ones with the breadcrumbs and the brown sugar are the best. Still very good though. Yeah. So we've had a big day of eating traditional Polish food. It is pretty obvious that we very much like Polish milk bars. Very good home cooked food that is very affordable. You could say quite cheap. And I don't know, I just feel very happy coming to Polish milk bars. So anyways guys, we've got so many more videos coming from Poland. This is just video number two. And 
We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh. <laughs>